Oh, with me now, I have the beautiful ladies of the Beaver Creek Rodeo, Maddie and Abby Fields, and then also Madeline Mills, the Colorado State Rodeo uh, Princess, right? I'm Miss Rodeo Colorado, Ms. so Rodeo yes, ma'am. So what does it take to be Miss Rodeo Colorado? You haven't been on the show before. You know, it's quite an honor. We have a contest in July, and it's actually mostly knowledge-based. So um, we crowned our lady-in-waiting, Kelsey, and she'll take over January 1st, but they go through a whole bunch of interview sessions. We do modeling, impromptu speaking, and then our talent is horsemanship. So we're judged on our ability to ride horses we've never been on before. That's awesome. And so do you girls plan on being Miss Colorado Rodeo as well in the future? I plan to try out for Miss Rodeo Texas once we go back to Texas and um, hopefully I'll get that going here in the next few years. I'm going to go to college first and then um, get it going. Yeah. And I know you just had a birthday, so how yeah. was that? <laughs> it was really good. It was a little wet last week, but we're looking forward tonight and we wish everyone could come out and have a great time. So. We're really excited about it. <laughs> so tonight is the last night for the rodeo, and what are your girls' roles in the rodeo for tonight? So what we do is we open the rodeo with the grand entry with Colorado and American flag, and then we'll do a pattern to music, and Punchy is actually in the rodeo with us. And then we run sponsor flags in between the rodeo events and then help with the events inside the rodeo. And then afterwards, we sign autographs and take pictures with all of our guests. And Madeline, what are you going to be doing tonight? Yeah, I'm going to be hanging out with these girls. I've had a little bit of time to hang out with them in Eagle, so I'll be helping out wherever I can and just welcoming the crowd. Awesome. And uh, what's your favorite part of doing the rodeo? Um, my favorite part is definitely meeting everyone who comes to the rodeo because it is a worldwide rodeo, so people come from France, China, so it's really cool to see who all comes to just our rodeo in this valley. So I like just meeting and greeting with everyone. A true Western experience. I know people that come from all over the world uh, to see the rodeo, they really enjoy it and they don't have this everywhere. <laughs> no, um, a lot of people come and tell us that it's their first rodeo and it's such an honor for them to come to our rodeo as their first one because it is every Thursday, but it is our last one this week. So um, it's really fun to just listen to um, how much fun they had and the experience because it's very different from what they're used to. Now, what time does the rodeo start tonight? I know it's the last night, so you have something special going on as well? Um, we have, this is actually the 15th annual, so we are really excited that it's the last night. The rodeo starts at 6, but gates open at 5, so make sure you get there early and enjoy our pre-rodeo events, such as mechanical bull riding, face painting, as well as pony rides. So make sure you get there early, get food, and enjoy the rodeo. Fun for the kids, too. Uh, that's the best part. They have the free face painting for it for the kiddos, so they can enjoy that. And you can have a beer from Vail Brewing Company, or you girls can't have a beer, but I can have a beer from Vail Brewing Company, Turkey Legs. So what are you doing up here? You're going to be going back down to Denver. Is that where you're staying? You know, I'm originally from Castle Rock, um, but as Miss Radio Colorado, I represent La Sporta Radio statewide, uh, specifically prof the Professional Radio Cowboys Association. So from here, I'll head over to Kremling and then the Colorado State Fair in Pueblo. So you're traveling a lot. I do. Um, I'll hit about 30,000 miles this year. So there's a lot of traveling. And then in December, I'm actually currently preparing to try out for Miss Rodeo America, which takes place at the Wrangler National Finals in December. Well, congratulations and good luck. I hope you get that. That would be awesome. And where can we go to get more information about the rodeo tonight? You can go to Beaver Creek Rodeo uh, or beavercreek.com forward slash rodeo, or you can um, just show up. You can watch interviews. Um, it's all over, so it's not hard to find information about it. A lot of it will be on radio and in the newspaper as well. Yes, we'll be talking about it here at TV8 and on the radio station later as well. Are you girls sad that you're leaving? Uh, we are sad, but we're so blessed to be able to have done this for the past summer, and we're just excited to go back home, but we're super excited about tonight to end it with a bang. So we hope everyone can come out for it. We're so happy to have you girls on again, and good luck, and good luck with trying out for Miss America Rodeo. And uh, Ken's going to let you know how that weather's going to hold up for you tonight.